All right, this is SSL Dad, and today I'm gonna to show you how to convert one of these old halogen work lights into an LED. So we all have these things laying around, those of us who like to do home improvement type projects and maybe work in a trade or something like that. And uh, uh, we all have these little work lights or the, the two pedestal ones with the two or three or four lights on them, depending on how fancy you want to get. And uh, these things are great, they're, they're useful. I use them for working on cars and all kinds of different things. They come with halogen lights in them generally, unless you buy newer LED ones, but the ones that you probably have laying around are probably all um, old halogen lights they get super hot and usually they're like 200 watts or more um, just for one of these little lights they're very bright and that's great in the winter time they're even kind of hot which I guess is nice but so these things are big energy hogs and although they work very well they don't the bulbs don't last that long and and just what a what a waste um, LEDs much better way to go right so um, recently I found a way to very easily ch and cheaply upgrade these old work lights to LEDs so let me show you what you need so this one actually was left at our house when we bought it. It was a, out in the barn somewhere. I just cleaned it up a little bit. So these all open up, obviously, just like a regular bulb replacement. And generally, they pivot down or open up somehow. And then you've got your halogen bulb. They're generally on a little bit of a spring, so just pop these bulbs out. You can see this one is totally fried. It's all kinds of messed up. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And so what you need is an LED replacement. Now they sell these are called Cobb style um, LEDs. And I think these are like four and a half inches or 4.6 inches, something like that. And I'll put a link in to this one in the description. Um, there's also a higher powered one that's a little bit bigger. It comes with like three rows of LEDs. And uh, that one's a little brighter than this one. This one here is cheaper, but it's not quite as bright as one of these halogen bulbs. But I think they're only like 10 watts or something. So uh, versus like 200 on these. So it's a super low energy consumption, which is nice. Uh, but you need to get one of these, these cab bulbs. Um, they're all enclosed, which is nice. Way, way, way less heat. And they are a exact replacement. So they'll fit right in here on one of the posts on one side and it just pushes into place. And that's that. So it's super easy, direct replacement for those halogen bulbs. You can put these in anything that takes these, I wanna say they're 4.6 or 4.7 inch, but uh, anything that takes these halogen bulbs, you can replace with these LEDs. And now you've got a perfectly good LED work light that's gonna last you way longer. You don't need to worry about bumping it around or breaking the bulb. You don't need to worry about this thing, you know, cooking eggs on it when you're, when you run it for a while or starting a fire or tipping over in a barn or anything like that. Um, these things run way cooler. They're still hot to the touch, the bulbs are. They're warm to the touch, but they're way, way cooler. They also, the, the nice thing is that you can get these bulbs in, in different color temperatures. So the LEDs can come in that warm yellow kind of light, which I think is what these kind of halogens are. Or what I like is kind of that bright daylight, that 6,000 Kelvin uh, white light and that's way better for working and, and stuff like that so so you can also put them in these ones on the stands which this is the one that I normally use this in and they pop right into these as well and these things are dirty I think these are those cheap uh, Home Depot brand lights but they've uh, worked pretty well for me for quite a few years so but I couldn't wait to get those, get rid of those halogen bulbs. I was replacing them all the time. Tripping breakers out with power tools and everything, running two of these things out there. It's like 500 watts on these with two of them. Instantly on, instantly up to brightness. I love LEDs. So it's just one of those little things that, uh, man, when I found these things on Amazon, I was pumped. So I ordered a few of them and I absolutely love them. I probably would get the brighter ones. Uh, they are a little more expensive. I didn't find those, the brighter ones when I was looking the first time I bought these. But uh, these things are plenty bright enough for what I'm doing. I use these out in the greenhouse a lot. It's the only light that I have out here. Um, when I'm boiling sap or you know getting maple syrup stuff done or, or we'll be planting in here and doing other things, especially in the winter time when it's dark real early. Um, these things work, they'll light up the whole greenhouse 
greenhouse, no problem. I also have these LED work light, these battery powered ones that I, I highlighted these a while ago when I was working on the greenhouse. And these things, I love these things. I use them all the time, I use them as flashlights actually. I carry them around. Um, they are super bright in a couple different modes on these. Unfortunately, these do have a flicker in the camera. Um, they're, they're not an anti-flicker, which means you can't use these for recording, which I was bummed about. Um, but you, they might have a flicker for you guys, but they are there's no flicker in real life. It's only through the camera that you see that. Uh, but these things are awesome. So I'll put a link in the, to the description, uh, in the description for these too. Um, they have a little USB port on the back. You can charge a phone or something. I never, never really use that, but um, you could, I guess, in an emergency situation. Good to pack in like an emergency kit or something. But uh, I love these LED work lights. Great to throw in a, you know, have in your workbench and throw underneath the car if you're working on stuff. Um, nice things to have. But I'm on a mission here on the farm to have everything as that I possibly can use LEDs. I'm getting rid of all of our halogens, all our incandescents, all of our CFLs anything I can possibly get rid of and, and transfer over to or transition over to LEDs. Eventually we want to be kind of off grid here and use wind and solar power and so we want to be as efficient as possible. I don't want to waste energy we don't have to and uh, I just LEDs are just all around better. There's really no disadvantage to them. So prices are way down on this stuff guys and, and, and now's the time uh, if it ever has been to, to start transitioning out away from whatever else you have into LEDs. So, so hopefully you enjoyed the quick video today on converting these work lights into LEDs. Um, I just love these things. So I thought I'd share with you guys. As always, questions and comments down below. Lots of good stuff coming out this week. Easter is behind us and spring is ahead of us. So uh, look for a lot of gardening stuff coming up here this week and next. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.